What up, everybody? Instruct the Beats back again here with an awesome lesson. If you are struggling with these fraction of a group or set word problems, check this out because this is a very simple way to break these questions down and make sure you get them right 100% of the time. All right, before we get to the word problems, though, you need to have a little bit of review, right? So if we're finding three-fourths of 12, if you've watched this, we like to solve this type of question with the tape diagram. So I'm going to draw my hole right here, okay? And my hole is going to be worth 12. And I know I'm splitting it into four equal groups. And if I want to find three-fourths of that, I'm looking for three parts of that, right? So three of the four groups. And so now I'm just going to think about this as division. 12 divided by 4 is going to be 3. So I'm going to have 3 in each group. And then if I wanted 3 of those, I'm looking at, okay, how many do I have in these 3 groups, which of course would be 9. So 3 fourths of 12 is 9. And we solved it with a tape diagram, or some people call it a bar model. All right, here is your key thought, right? So for these fractions of a group or set problems, there is always two questions that they can ask you when they give you this type of word problem, okay? By drawing and labeling your tape diagram, or some people call it bar models, you can answer both of them. So just by showing this work, you'll be able to answer all of the questions they might try to ask you. And that is hashtag truth. All right, here's our first word problem, right? Shrestha's goal is to read 20 pages by the end of the week. She was going to read Tuesday and Wednesday. She read one-fourth of the pages on Tuesday and the rest on Wednesday. So here's your problem, right? You don't know the question yet because I don't have it there, but here's the information they're going to give you. I like to think about a word problem split into two parts. You have the problem, that's where they're giving you the information, and then the question, okay? So looking at this, I see right here that she read one-fourth of the pages. So the pages is information they've given me previously, right? She read 20 pages. So if she read one-fourth of the pages, that's really saying one-fourth of 20 on Tuesday. And then here's what they love to try to get you with this word right here, the rest on Wednesday. So looking at the information in that problem, they can ask you really two questions. And they might word it a little bit differently than this, but these are the two questions they're gonna ask you. They can either ask you how many pages did she read on Tuesday, or they can ask you how many pages does she have left to read on Wednesday. These are the two questions that go with this information. Now again, if you've underlined this word of, and you see that this is really one fourth of 20, you know that you can draw this tape diagram right here. Now watch when I draw this, I'm gonna be able to answer both of these questions using my information. So I know that this was 20 pages total, and I know that because my denominator right here was four, she read one fourth of the pages on Tuesday. So I'm gonna split this into four equal groups, and then I'm going to label it, right? One of the groups was Tuesday, and the rest was Wednesday. That means these other three parts had to be on Wednesday. So now I've labeled this, right? And if I have 20 divided into four equal groups, that's going to be five in each group. Now, using this tape diagram, if I've labeled it and done it correctly, I can now answer both of these questions. All I need to do is make sure I pay attention. So if my question was asking me, how many pages did she read on Tuesday? My statement would say she read blank pages on Tuesday, which my question mark would just go right underneath Tuesday. And your answer for this would be, five pages, okay? Now, if you follow along with Instructive Beats, you know we love our sides check. It's an awesome word problem strategy, but whatever word problem strategy you're using, you can still develop this tape diagram or bar model to help you answer these. Now, if the question was asking me how many pages does she have left to read on Wednesday, my statement would say she had blank pages left to read on Wednesday. And now my tape diagram is the exact same. I didn't have to change anything except I wanna know what these three parts are. So I draw my little line underneath here with my question mark, and obviously it was 15 pages on Wednesday. So by taking this information and drawing it visually, we can answer any question they throw at us. Okay, now that we kinda of got the gist of that, I'm gonna solve this question using our sides check strategy, right? So I, I gave you the problem right here, and then here's the first question. Now we're gonna answer two or three different types of questions for this, but I want to make sure I show you that 
all the thought process together that I would do. Okay, so first of all, if my question said, how many miles did she run on Wednesday? I would write the statement. She ran blank miles on Wednesday, which means I'm going back. I'm looking for anything about miles or anything about Wednesday. So it says Joni was training for a marathon. She wanted to run 24 miles this week. I'm circling that because it's about miles. She ran two six of, and then right after the word of, it's talking about the miles, which really is 24 on Monday. And three six of, again, the next words after this are the miles, not a mile, the miles, which again, we already know is 24. So I see that I'm doing a fraction of a group, right? And then, of course, she ran the rest on Friday. They love that word, the rest. Whoever makes these tests love the word, the rest. So I know what type of tape diagram I'm going to draw. Give myself some more room. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my tape diagram right here. It doesn't have to be nice and big, right? It can just, as long as you're neat. So we have 24 miles. I know my denominator is six. So I'm going to split it into thirds first and then into six. And I'm going to make sure I label. So two of the six parts she ran on Monday. So I'm going to label these Monday. Three six of her miles were ran on Wednesday. So I'm going to label three of these parts Wednesday. And then the rest of them were on Friday. So I'm going to label that Friday. Now the first question I'm going to answer again is how many miles did she run on Wednesday? Hopefully by this point you know the other two types of questions they might ask you. But if I'm looking for Wednesday, I'm going to put my tape diagram question mark right here underneath those three parts. I know 24 divided by 6 is going to be 4 in each of these parts, right? Because fractions are equal parts of a whole. And for this, my whole or my set was 24. So 3 of those 6 would have been 12. So she ran 12 miles on Wednesday. Well, I had to race that to give myself some more room. The other two questions, of course, I might ask you is, how many miles did she run on Monday? And of course, we're going to use the same tape diagram, but our question mark would be underneath these two. So of course, the answer for that would be eight miles on Monday. And then the last question, of course, they might ask you is how many miles did she have left to run on Friday? And for that one, your question mark would just go underneath one of your six, right? Because two six was Monday, three six was Wednesday. That only leaves you one six left over, which of course would be four miles. So again, no matter what question they're asking you using this information, you can answer all of them by drawing and labeling your visual model. Thank you so much for checking us out today. We really believe that this is the best and easiest way to answer these types of word problems, making sure you label it and fill in your information. Please check out all our other resources we have. We have our classroom music, our instructional music. We have awesome classroom timers we'd love for you guys to check out. We'd love for you to subscribe, like, comment. Let us know where you're watching from. Again, thank you so much. Instructive Beats, out.